Now it's time to install Laravel on Windows machine. So this machine is fresh installation of uh, Windows. So I don't really have anything here. So let's get to Laravel.com and in the documentation to get started. Getting started part, let's click here and on the installation, we need to go here. So to install Laravel on our system or to have Laravel project getting started, we require some of the things. First thing first, we need to have a PHP on our machine. To check whether you have PHP or not, you can head over and uh, start command prompt and you can type PHP hyphen V. You can see I don't have. But you know command prompt is little older thing. So I highly recommend you to install cmder or I call it commander. So let's download and with downloading this it will also install git for your uh, windows machine. And after extracting you will have this folder here. So if you open this folder you will have this commander.exe and you can double click here to open it and you simply say unlock and unblock and continue. So after doing that you will have this and yeah you can see commander is running very nicely. So what you can do you can give a shortcut here to the desktop, send to desktop and now we can even search here commander and we can have this. So yes we can see we don't have PHP here. So to install PHP we need to install XAMPP on our Windows machine. So you can install XAMPP or you can search for VAMP also. I will try to use XAMPP. So search for it and you need to install it. So install for Windows. Yeah, here it is and let's just save it. So as you can see it is also installed. So I will open the download folder and here we have them. So let's just start it and we will install. So let's minimize everything. Let's cut some commander. Yes and now it will going to start installing. This message will come but you just need to ignore it and then click on next. And this XAMPP not only give you uh, PHP but it will also give you Apache server and MySQL server also. So let's just install everything. So next and it will install on C drive XAMPP. So next once more next and let's just close this and one more next and yeah it will now going to install it. And now it says XAMPP is installed successfully. So do you want to start control panel? Yes. So let's just click on finish and it will ask for language. It doesn't matter. And this is the server or this is the control panel which is given by XAMPP. So you can see we have all these things. But what about the PHP? So let's open commander. And in this commander I will type PHP hyphen V. Again it's saying not recognized internal or external command. Why? We have installed XAMPP. Our XAMPP control panel is running. All these things are working but why it's not showing? Actually our PHP is inside C drive XAMPP PHP folder. Here we have this PHP and we need to tell our windows that hey windows there is a PHP on this folder. And we will do this by adding an environment variable. So you need to search for environment variable or actually edit environment variable. Then click on this environment variable. And on this part, if you have this path, P-A-T-H, if you have this, that's good. Otherwise, you need to create it. Then select this path. Then click on this edit button. And now create a new entry. New entry will be the actual path of your PHP folder. So this is the path C XAMPP PHP. So let's copy this and now create a new entry paste it. Click on OK. Here once more OK and the last time OK and this time if I try uh -huh, it's not doing this because we need to restart our 
commander so let's restart commander and finally this time if i run this yes you can see we have a php 7.3.4 which is the latest version so in that way we have installed the php we have installed XAMPP, this means Apache is there and then we have MySQL, everything is there. Next important point to install Laravel is to have this Composer. But what is Composer? Composer is a dependency manager which is going to have all your packages, all your dependencies, requirements on your computer. By using this Composer, you can be sure that the particular version and exact version of some package or whatever you want to use is going in your uh, system, in your project. So first thing you need to install Composer on your Windows machine. So again, again, if I open Commander and if I type Composer, Composer, run it it again saying composer is not recognized command okay so let's download it so we are on windows so we just need to download this composer setup so click here click on this save button and view the folder so let's just double click here and yeah we have this so now we need to just say next and this time make sure you have this correct path of php.exe file. If this is not already selected, you need to again browse to your XAMPP folder wherever you have installed it. Go to XAMPP, then PHP, then you need to select actually php.exe file. So when you have this, click on next, it will install this Composer on your Windows machine. And after that, again, once more, we need to restart commander and it is finished. Yeah, it is finished. So minimize it, open commander once more. And this time, if I say composer, hit enter. Yes, we have all these composer related commands. And again, if you are not getting this composer here, you need to edit environment variable. So this is very nice and what next? So the Laravel is very close with us. So we just need to now install this installer using this composer global command. So copy this one and open commander. And here we need to paste it and then hit enter. So it's now going to install the installer. So after having this installer on our machine, we can use Laravel command and what that command is after having this, we need to just say Laravel, then new and whatever your project name. It's very easy after installing this installer, but suppose you are not getting this installer or you're having some trouble, you can directly create a new project using composer, create project, preferred dist and Laravel, Laravel, then your project name. So yes, it is a little bit uh, long, but let's try to have this. While this is installing, I'm going to create a new console dialog. And let's cd into clear and I will paste this and I will call it instead of blog, I will call it test level. Hit enter. And now it will directly create a new uh, Laravel application for you. So let's check whether our installer is installed or not. Yes, you can see our installer is successfully installed. We don't have any problem with this. This means what I can do here, let's again clear this. And if I say Laravel, hit enter. You can see we have this Laravel installer 2.0.1 and once more, if you are not having this, again, you need to add the environmental variable or you can simply search on internet like Laravel not recognized command, Laravel not recognized command and you will have a stack overflow uh, will going to help you. So you can just search here and it will have various answers.
So that's easy part. You can fix it later. And even if you can't solve, just message me. I will help you. So you can see this is installing with the direct composer create project command. And let's try to create a new project using Laravel installer. So clear it and I will say uh, again, let's go to download cd dot dot downloads and I will now say Laravel new from installer. This is the name I have given. So let's click here. Let's hit enter and yes, you can see it is crafting application doing the theme. Both of these command will do the same work, but this is very easy to remember Laravel new and your project name. And here it is little bit difficult to remember composer, create project, preferred is Laravel, Laravel and then project name, lots of things to remember. So these things are good and let's just download it. So you can see the project is installed by using the composer command directly. And if I go here, this is installed by using the Laravel installer. So you can see by using the Laravel installer, we have at last application ready build something amazing. This string is coming here, but here we are not having that. So you can simply differentiate between that. There is just this line difference, but otherwise both project are exactly same. How we can start the project? Normally, if you are using XAMPP, what you will do, you will hold your project inside your XAMPP, then HT Docs folder. Generally, you will do like this. Here you will put folder. But with Laravel, you don't have to do local host and then your project name and then index.php. No, not like that. What you need to do, you need to run a simple command to start server because we need to simply say cd inside the project name which is from installer. This is the project name we have created. So I will say from installer and when we are on the project directory, you can see we have lots of things on this Laravel application, but don't worry about that. We will see all these things later. I will just say php artisan serve. This is a simple command php artisan serve command will going to start the server. So as soon as I hit enter, you can see it is in started server at localhost colon 8000. So we have localhost, we just need to say colon 8000 hit enter and yes you can see we have the level installed successfully similar to this we can have same thing so if i press ctrl c it will get stopped and now i will go here i will say cd into whatever the test level so cd into test level and then again php artisan serve hit enter same port so localhost 8000. So this is the way you can install Laravel on your system and from the next episode we will get started and we will see how we can proceed and how we can see what is Laravel and how to use it. So till then if you want to learn more things and work on new projects then head over to bitfumes.com slash courses section where you will get lots of tutorials from YouTube, Udemy and some of the premium courses for this website and you can unlock them by just subscribing to this website and we will meet in the next episode till then. Goodbye.